first shout out to one nation and like this video in the next five seconds or this scary clown right here will will be at your door enjoy never mind never mind huh? What's up, bro? This is Randy Cloud. We're gonna react to my childhood obsession with animals by Jada Animations. I'm reacting to the. I'm I'm reacting to her now. I'm still watching BoJack Horseman in the background, and I will get copyrighted. So hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Y'all already know I will get copyrighted. And hey guys, if you wanna know, my mom give me something. Hmm. It kind of tastes like orange, actually. So maybe it'll stop me from coughing. I don't know. Maybe. Mm. And I remember. Mm. Let's see if this gator tastes good. Not that bad. Mm. So let's get to the video. Three, two, one. Guys, I'm really not trying to get copyrighted. Eh? Let's get to the video. 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 Three, two, one, we're ready. I've always been an animal lover. Ever since I saw <clears throat> a picture of a dog, I've been like, Ma, give me a I dog. want that. I still love and respect animals, but as a kid, it was pretty intense. Not gonna lie. Can we get a dog? 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 Dog? Can we get a dog? 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 Can we get a dog? 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 You know, since Scooby Doo stuff, must die so I think what I want. Since so I think it was nine or ten. I think I got it. I got them from either nine or ten. I still have them. They died or eleven. I don't know. But sure. as a five-year-old, I also just forgot to feed them a lot. So there's got to be some fish blood on my hands for that. We went through probably twenty fish in the span of a couple months, but eventually we got these two goldfish that didn't die. A true miracle. They were pretty resilient little dudes. One was Goldie, and the other was probably named Fishy. I think, like, I think my parents never got me a dog, some of the most a fish. They actually got me a snake before. I've ever known. It was like but when I was a, a while, baby, Goldie though, so white, I'll wear so my marine it Rainbow because I, I had to ask my brother when she's in college. I learned 13 years later from my marine biology teacher that Goldie slash Rainbow was probably diseased, which makes the color change less exciting. We eventually gave them away to my mom's friend, and they died. But that's all uh -huh. besides the point. My parents got me a Well, actually, it's not your fault now. I named Scruffy, but that was it. I wasn't able to crack them any further. No, they were gonna die if you give them away. Me, I tried. My parents had to become stone-faced, emotionless soldiers to keep my non-stop beseeching for more creatures at bay. After they got me a dog, I was pretty satisfied for about a year and a half until I decided I wanted a mouse. Something about a their mouse. cute little faces and how they crawl with mouse. their cute little feet and their freaking ears made me obsess over having one, and my parents got to hear all about it. I asked my parents for a mouse for years, promising how I'd take care of it and blah 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 the whole thing. My mom well, pretty much hates rodents because she thinks their tails are weird, so there was no budging on that one. She tried to get me to stop by well, saying, also did like right, crumbs, you can get a mouse, turd. but we'd have to get rid of Scruffy, which is obviously <clears throat> a bad bang for your back. <clears throat> No, what? No, no way. No, -uh. I'd never get rid of Scruffy. He's my pal for life. But not gonna lie, after hearing that response over 10 times, I started kind of considering it. I wasn't ever actually gonna do it. I was just getting desperate, all right? When I was 10, I wrote on my Christmas wish list that I wanted a mouse because I thought for some reason I'd foiled their plans and found a loophole. Ha! You can't override the power of the holy Christmas spirit. Christmas morning rolled I'm pretty around sure you and can. I ran into the living room. Because you don't have to buy everything on the list. It's no about what you get on Christmas. Not just, not just stick it. Nice that. salt in the wound there. Ooh. I got my hopes up way too high. My disappointment was immense. They did say mouse. You did say mouse. Was ruined. But they, I did get a say computer it. though. So a mouse cool. mouse. An animal mouse. Not a, for a mouse. I read this book series mouse. called Maximum Ride, which was about these teenagers who had bird wings and were on the run to not get captured by the scientists who wanted to keep experimenting on them. It was my favorite book series as a kid and it made me really like birds. 
which resulted in the next animal obsession. Birds. I swear to God, if I hear one more mention of birds <gasps> again, I'm gonna. Mom, can we get a yellow named Amazon parrot? Yes, I started loving birds back when I was in sixth grade. Everyone say a big thanks to James Patterson for creating this bird obsessed monster. At the time, I wanted one of the big boy birds, a yellow naped Amazon parrot to be exact. I would spend hours just watching all the YouTube videos I could find of them and sending them to my parents, like, look. Look how great they are! You totally want one now, don't you, after watching one play in a box and sing Old MacDonald? This was a whole new type of fixation. I mapped out on the ground where the cage could go with tape, googled where Amazon parrot breeders were near me, I made multiple wow. PowerPoint presentations for my parents on why they should let me get a parrot. It was intense. Hey, and kids actually do this. My mom I mean, I don't like, do this, but so how about some kids, that mouse? Some kids but teens, no, mom, that ship has sailed. Now I want a 15-inch parrot actually that lives actually for 80 years. They started telling me, you can get a bird when you move out. And from then on, it was my goal to get out of my parents' house as soon as I could. Obviously, I never got a yellow-naped Amazon parrot, but I never really got out of my bird phase because I've got this thickums right here. I was pretty self-aware that asking for a parrot was a long shot, so even though I still wanted a bird, I dialed back my animal requests, and when I was 14, I started really liking flying squirrels. They were my favorite animal Why? for a while, and that's when I realized people can have them as pets sugar gliders. Mom, can we sugar glider? Add that one to the list. I don't think oh I actually told my parents too much about getting flying squirrels as much as the mouse and parrot, but I know they <clears throat> knew I wanted one. And I knew they knew I knew they were going to say no. So I guess I just kept that one a bit more internal. During the summer, we would visit my family in Canada, and my cousin Peyton was really <coughs> obsessed with ferrets at the time. So we would spend literally entire days on the computers together, researching ferrets and flying squirrels and Amazon parrots because they were still my number one obsession, lest not forget. We wrote down general Jesus. facts we learned in Word documents, planned out how to care for them, added up how much money they cost, including cages, food, bedding, etc, etc. We so, were the so same I amount of obsessed. It was a lot of fun, actually. We bonded a lot during those times, and she's still one of my best friends. She also never got a ferret, so sad times there. Peyton also got Aww. a rat named Lola, and that made me really want a rat. Which, of course, again. Meant Mom! Lola was so Can we get a rat, smart, please? I always wanted to play with her. But that's I have a dog, so I actually don't ask my parents for a If I come a, a over pet, to your house actually, and you have any type of since pet, we really I would be dog, personally so, offended yeah. if you don't let me play with it for at least three hours. So, so I already have a dog, and if you have a dog, what's the point of getting another pet? Unless your dream is to be like a scientist who studies pets. And she would say, nope, that ship has sailed. Touché, mother. During 10th grade, Touché. I was also starting to really like raccoons. I thought they were sneaky and cool. And I oh, googled come if people on. had them as pets as a random, not serious thought. But surprise, surprise, some people do have raccoon pets. What? Just kidding, they rip up couches and dig holes in walls. And I'm not that devoted. They also actually raccoon. scratch you. I, but I still dreamed about having a raccoon. I don't know pet. where, but Finally, I remember I, I was on Facebook. High school, you know, I, I had a Facebook to my parents and banned me from that. Um, I remember I had a story about someone, some baby was left alone in a hospital bed and then a raccoon somehow came in and then started scratching them. But YouTube started kicking off shortly after and I moved back in with my parents to pursue that. Flash forward a bit and I was finally able to get Ari. After 10 years of wanting a bird, I'd finally done it. And what a gander he is. Was he worth the wait? No, he's a dumb bird. Wow. You're, good. You're a good bird. I'm not currently looking to get any more animals right now, even though I really want them. I have Ari and he's already enough of a handful, so I can't commit to anything else right now. I am gonna get a dog eventually, that's a promise. And I do really like reptiles, so I've done my fair share of research on skinks. But that's only a 30% chance to actually happen. I haven't really grown out of my animal phase. I've just become a mix of that and my parents. Still hopelessly entranced by creatures, but also being the one who has to tell myself no because I have other stupid responsibilities. Hopefully when I, I have kids, they won't be as animal obsessed as I am because I don't think I have the strength my parents had to be able to say no to any animals they ask for. Thank God my parents were responsible and never got me animals just because I asked for them. Otherwise, I'd be living in a zoo. Now, I That's know you true. guys, and this is absolutely going to trigger a bombardment <coughs> of tweets to me with pictures of the pets you have, and all I can say to that is, bring it on. It took a while, but the Ari bags and a lot of other new things are now being sold on the shop, so you might be interested in some of that. I'm sorry it took a while to get finished, but I hope you like the stuff. 
uh, that's all I want to say for now. Yeah, bye. Yeah, so guys, don't worry. I have a dog. I I have a dog, so yeah, wait. Wait, how the fuck keeps going? Sorry guys, I have a dog, so I really don't need another pet, because since with dogs, even though, you know, <clears throat> there's, there's a lot of, because even though you can play with them and stuff, they still scratch you and stuff, but that's why I really don't play with them anymore, you know, he'd just be in his cage, so yeah, I have a dog, um, go with that, so yeah, see you guys in this video, uh, now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, please look, please hit that like button, and that subscribe button, um, and I forget someone was gonna follow up on the video, Come right here, I see how do it. See you guys in another video. I'll see you Christmas later. Bye. Guys, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you Christmas later. Bye. Peace.